Hello everyone and welcome to Arts with Andrea. Today we're going to be looking at Op Art, which is short for Optical Illusion Art. This is definitely one of my favourite movements simply because when I'm looking at Op Art work, my eyes are really made to work hard. Sometimes I'm taken on this journey, sometimes I feel like I'm falling in this vortex. And although the work looks very, very complex, they are actually quite simply applied. All you need is shapes, lines and specific colours to make sure the combination of op art works. There are two artists who are quite famous in delivering works in this movement. The first is the Hungarian artist Victor Vasorelli and the second the British artist Bridget Riley. When you have a chance do look them up. So let's get started. If we have a look at this work by Victor Vassarelli, we can see that through his very careful application of lines and his choice of powerful contrasting colours, we are getting this sense of this huge sphere coming straight towards us, which creates an amazing 3D effect. If you have a look at the way that Bridget Riley has applied her black line in a very gentle curved way, this gives a sense of rhythm and we feel that we are moving alongside this piece of work. This piece of work was directly influenced by Bridget Riley and what I love about it is this illusion of travelling down a river then you've got the sudden drop and then you're back up again and then continue on your way and that's a very simple effect created by using lines uh, in different distances apart um, and also the contrasting colours of orange and blue. Let's create our own one now. These horizontal lines need to be the same distance apart or more or less whereas your vertical lines these are the ones that will create your um, illusion of movement and in this case a drop huge drop and now what we simply do is add the colors again two different colors contrasting ways A trick is when applying colour, always apply your lighter colour first because then you can, if you make a mistake, then you can always apply your darker colour slightly over any mistakes which you've got. As well as that, it also keeps the nib of your um, felt tip fairly clean. a Bridget Riley inspired piece. The first thing you need to do is start making your rings and as you can see I've started making mine and I'm probably going to go for about five rings. Each ring should be getting slightly bigger. these as accurately as possible because they will be really useful and it will look more effective if the lines are equally width. Now here is a tricky part. What you now need to do is get your set square ruler and you need to place them alongside each line that you've just created and where you come to the right angle you then need to line off. So here is my line here I'm going to connect it there, so I'm using here to there, and then I'm going to finish off the right angle by bringing it straight down to the next ring. Let me do that again. So it's there, there, and then bringing it down. And you have to line these up as accurately as possible because that's how you're going to get your good effect. Take time, if you need to erase some of your lines, please do. Same technique for all the other rings. 
So find your corner, find your angle and your line. Here is my line. So I'm going to continue the line and it goes straight there. There we are, and I hope you've had fun making your own op art pieces today. I hope you enjoyed working on your op art pieces. Please do share your work with me as well. Bye-bye.